Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit 5, lesson 10, and we're looking at part 2. It says to run the code, just to see what happens. We can see that the code here is very simple, it's just a console log and it's getting a data set, so let's run it. We can see as we expand this that we have different types of cats. The whole purpose of this part of the lesson is just to explore looking at the data sets. To do that, we're going to go to the data tab in the top left corner of the screen. And we can see our data library. There's quite a lot here. Let's go ahead and look at the sports tab and we'll look at the NFL teams. It tells us here that the database is from the 2019 to 2020 season. And we can preview this list. And it'll tell us what exactly makes up this data set. Let's go ahead and click import. So now we have two different things. We have a table name called cats and we have a table name called NFL teams. If I click on this NFL teams, notice that I do have some ability to add some things or edit this. Considering this is an old list, that might be something that we need to do in the future, but we're not gonna do that today. Let's go back to our code view and we're gonna run our own console log. So we'll go to variables, we'll bring in console log, and then we wanna to go to data and do get column. Now you can flip back and forth between the data tab and looking at all of the column names to make sure that you're spelling things correctly as you input the code. But if you're in the blocks view, we can actually just click the drop down, click choose. I can select from my two tables and then I can also select the column that I want from this. And so we'll select team and let's run this again. And we can see here at the bottom that it reran this list and it printed to the console log all of the NFL teams in addition to the cats. Again, this part of the lesson is not too difficult. It's just getting used to using data sets. When you're done, click finish.